Um, back in 2007, uh, when I got a call from Brad Bynum, one of the ministers here, uh, and he said, you, you should come here. We, you, should, you should bring your dreams and thoughts and visions, and you should come here to Destin. I, I did not know what, what would come. And uh, when, I, when I met Dr. Lentz and uh, many others here in this church, and we started dreaming up uh, the Hope Medical Center, I, I, we had no idea what would come of that. And we had no idea what would be done and how it would all come together exactly. Um, but God did. God knew what would happen. And uh, God knew that 15 years later, we would still be here and that we would still be caring and showing love to this community. He knew that 15 years later, we would now have uh, more than 5,000 active patients on an annual basis. He knew that, that we would have uh, uh, partnerships and collaborations with volunteer surgeons and, and, and specialists that we would provide over uh, a, a thousand specialty visits and surgeries and procedures last year. Um, 400 of those we did the pre and post-op here at the clinic here. Um, God knew all of that. We couldn't see it, but he had a plan, and he has blessed this work. And um, we are so thankful for all the, the complexities that the Hope Medical Center <laughs> has become and, and the seeds that this church planted in 2008, um, starting with $50,000 and giving up space in this building and how that's grown over the years and how the church continually supports the work and the love and the care uh, that's going out into this community. Uh, so much so that now, it, it, I, I couldn't have fathomed that in the beginning, that, that when we were trying to make partnerships with hospitals and, 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 and even get you know, doors to open, that now 15 years later, we have a, a code with Ascension Sacred Heart where a patient knows that they're gonna be coming to us, that, that we deal with them on the regular about who they're sending to us, that they're sending some of these very sick patients to us because the thing about ailments, the thing about cancer, the thing about diabetes and kidney disease and all those things, it doesn't care if you have insurance or not, right? It affects all of us. And so these patients are coming to us with, with significant health problems. And this little clinic that started here so long ago, or seems like it, <laughs> uh, is, is making a difference and is a part of this community. And I love it. We want to share more. There is obviously an open house, if you haven't heard. We are, we are of the doors open. We would love for everyone to just walk through. If you have many times before, come again. Some of the staff is there. Um, I'd love for you to meet them. It, we have uh, 14 staff members uh, between the clinic here and the clinic out in Freeport. Um, not all of them are here. There's, I think, about three of us that will be here. Terry will be here. Um, a, a pharmacy, a licensed pharmacy. I mean, who would have thought uh, back in 2008 that we would be, have a licensed pharmacy here uh, on the premises where, where we give out millions of dollars, literally millions of dollars of medications annually. Uh, that's pretty powerful stuff. We want to share more. Please, if you would, um, if you're going to go get donuts and refreshments, why not just come through the clinic? You'll find your way back out into the fellowship hall, walk through, talk with us, ask questions. We would love to share more, and we're very excited about what is happening at the Hope Medical Center and what this church helped start.